Roundabouts are popping up in several places across our area. We've already got Morgantown, Fairmont, and Glenville. But can they be improved? Harley Benda spoke to some researchers about it. She's live with us in the newsroom and has more. Harley. Thanks, Don. Your typical roundabout can be a scary experience if you've never driven through one before. It's pretty straightforward, though. You pick your lane, you go to the traffic already in it, and then continue driving into the circle until you need to exit. But researchers at West Virginia University are working to make them even better. Roundabouts can be a great solution to busy intersections. But that comes at the price of minor fender benders if you need to change lanes. Researchers at West Virginia University are looking at a new type of roundabout that's found in Europe called turbo roundabouts. This is a more or less close to two lane roundabout. However, they are like a lane separator within the roundabout. So what if you need to make a left turn or maybe a right turn? There are enough lane marking and sign before intersection that you exactly know if you want to make a right turn, which lane you must be or if you want to go through which lane you must be, then basically they don't need to make any decision when they're at the intersection. According to WVU assistant professor and researcher Kakin Day, the turbo roundabouts put a barrier between you and the lane next to you, keeping you safe from another vehicle. The roundabouts are designed to reduce accidents by a large amount. In Netherlands, you'll be surprised to know their number of crashes actually reduced by 80%. According to Day, about 30,000 people die in traffic crashes every year. And while roundabouts bring the severity of crashes down, turbo roundabouts will bring the chances for fender benders even lower. This means less time waiting around and more time getting to your destination. Day and his team at WVU are researching the idea of bringing the roundabout to the U.S. But they can't just build one and let people go through it. That would be a major risk to the people trying it. Instead, they use another idea. In this project, we are using a traffic simulator where basically we'll bring in drivers, like real drivers, and they basically will ask them to go through turbo roundabout, other roundabout, as well as like a different types of intersection. Then we will see like what are the difficulty they are facing or how they are behaving. Day says he believes there's a turbo roundabout currently being constructed in Florida. But while there isn't any here in West Virginia or really even in the U.S., he's hoping the university's research, research rather will show the benefits and the new pattern will be here within the next five years to prevent crashes and even some fatalities. Reporting live from the 12 Newsroom, I'm Harley Benda.